Hey YouTube, Dawson from Rider here. Welcome to my review for Power Rangers Beast Morphers Season 2 Episode, Crunch Time. So this was a pretty interesting episode that had some focus on Blaze slash Robo Blaze uh, that was, I wasn't going say, one of the more, more controversial ones for me in a way um, in the first season. So I thought it was a pretty good episode and a pretty good lead-in into the two finale episodes we're getting. But I did have one problem with it, primary problem with it, which kind of just highlighted an overall problem I've had with the series. But basically, Devin is kind of taken under the wing of Blaze during this episode as he's trying to teach him to be a better and more effective and harsh leader, which leads him to mistreating Cruz a bit and scolding him too harshly. I mean, the poor Beast Bots, the purest characters in the show, the best characters, they always get such crappy treatment. And that, that ends up happening yet again in this episode, which is unfortunate. But I thought this was a really interesting angle um, because I... The thing is, if you've seen, if you watch this, you've seen the episode, you know it wasn't actually Blaze. It was Robo Blaze manipulating Devin so that he could get into the base and trick them with all this Evox plot stuff. But at the time, you know, lots of people already called it from the get-go that it was Robo Blaze. And I was one of the ones that was fooled. Primarily for two reasons. Because Blaze was always a jerk. And also, I was really hoping for an episode that would deal with Blaze and or Roxy uh, in terms of post being evil. And I was so excited by the idea of this episode actually taking advantage of this that I kind of ignored some of the obvious signs. And they kind of ignore the fact that Blaze was always a jerk. Like, he calls in later and that's how they find out and he's like, Oh, hi guys, I'm a goody two-shoes Pleasantville now. It's like, no, that dude was a jerk. And it was like the same thing with Megan. It's like, dude, Power Rangers, some people in the world are just the worst. It annoyed me. Mainly because this would have been such a cool idea. And, uh, you know, there was something else that annoyed me is that they never dealt with the aftermath of Blaze and Roxy. I mean, they were going to be the Ranger candidates. The fact that we never had so much of a scene addressing, like, what they were going to do now and why. I mean, obviously we know they're not involved with Great Battle Force, but there was so much potential there to examine what they were going to do afterwards, why they weren't working with Grid Battle Force, maybe they did work with Grid Battle Force, and this episode just kind of triggered all of that. Because the idea of Blaze trying to mentor Devin as a former Red Ranger candidate, and Devin was literally just a, basically, you know, an intruder off the street, um, could have been cool, and it would have made sense, and the idea of Blaze's style being more harsh and Devin not being as harsh, and then there being this sort of understanding between them could have been really cool. Um, and it would have made sense that Blaze's style was more harsh. Um, so I was disappointed. I mean, it was a clever plan by the villains. I'll give them that. Clever plan by Robo Blaze for sure. But I think there was a huge missed opportunity to do something similar with Blaze. And I might do a video on that um, after the season's done about the stuff they could have done with Blaze and Roxy. But that's kind of what bothered me mainly about this, is I think it could have been actual Blaze for a more interesting storyline with that. And this was also the first time Devin was mentioned, or they brought up the idea of, oh, Devin could be a commander one day. And I never felt like that was uh, an ongoing storyline is how they brought it up in this episode, especially since there's so many times in the season that the plot called for Devin caring more about video games than the the plot, which I'll, I just call that he got Rocky just wants to have fun. It was just Rocky just wants to have fun and get a lot of the time and they're like, oh no, you're on track to be commander. I was like, really? Like three episodes ago, he was like, keeper, I don't care about your visions. I got attorney to go to. So I don't know, that was a little bit weird, but I'll talk about that more later. But it wound up being a pretty clever plot by Blaze, Robo Blaze, even though I was annoyed by the fact that I think this could have been a cool pot with, pot with Blaze, There's, you know, cool pot with Blaze. It was a smart plot by the villains and it did continue. Something I have liked about the past couple episodes is that I felt like the villains were having more continuity and some more smart plans and planning going on like in the first season. Um, you know, it wasn't until this episode I feel like everyone was on the same page. I mentioned, I think it was last week's episode, I was talking about how it felt like the Rangers were still in Fillerville and the villains were realizing we're about to get to the end of the show. So this kind of continued that. And, like, Blaze's aggressive plan, you know, made sense in a way, too. Like, if it was actual Blaze, that kind of made sense. But then it ended up being this way for them to infiltrate the base. So I thought it was kind of smart in that aspect. So it was kind of cool to see the villains acting smartly, but it definitely frustrated me that it, you know, 
ended up not being real Blaze. But what did you guys think? Did you enjoy this episode? Do you think that Robo Blaze should not have been the person, it should have been actual Blaze? Or do you think that they should have done something more interesting like this with Blaze earlier in the season? Let me know in the comments as always. Until next time, if you like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell so you can get to my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.